Today I'm going to show you how you can record any game with Streamlabs desktop and give you the best settings for the highest quality. The first thing you want to do is go to the link in the description and download Streamlabs desktop and go ahead and open it up so you get to this screen so that you can follow along. First we're going to go ahead and add the game that we want to our scene here. So you're going to have a blank scene, something like this. Should already have a scene set up, so all we need to do is add a source. This is going to be the game, so we're going to click the plus, and then we're going to go to game capture add source and make sure your game is already open at this point so we're going to click add source then it's going to be on mode auto which is fine it should auto detect whatever game you have open but i recommend just going to capture specific window and then going to window and selecting the game that you want it to record and you can leave all these other settings alone just click close and just like that your game is ready to be recorded now i'm going to show you some of the best settings you can use we're going out of the bottom left here at the options wheel and then we're going to go to video first Basically, your base resolution is going to be your monitor's resolution, and then your output scaled resolution is what you're actually recording at. So I recommend you put this at 1920 by 1080, and then you can leave the downscale filter and the FPS type on these values, but make sure you do turn this common FPS value to 60 if you are recording gameplay so that it looks very smooth as games should. Now we're going to go to the output section, and then you might have it on output mode simple here on the top. We're just going to change that to advanced and click recording not streaming we are on the recording tab i'm just going to run through these very quickly you can feel free to copy these depending on your system build which we'll talk more about in a second you can leave this one standard your recording path is basically just wherever your videos are going to save to so make sure you know where that is or set it to a custom folder just so you can find your videos easier with the recording format i'm going to recommend you just keep it simple with it on mp4 if you are worried about your files getting corrupt or have had a problem with that in the past and then you lose your entire video you can use mkv and then convert it to an mp4 later but for simplicity's sake i'm just going to recommend mp4 i'm not going to worry about audio just yet for the recording encoder here this is actually really important with an nvidia graphics card a newer one especially we're going to be using the nvenc new encoder so with the stream encoders you essentially have two different encoders that we're going to be choosing from in most cases you're going to have your software encoder which is your cpu your processor which is called x264 you do not want to use this in most cases because it's going to use a lot more cpu power and you're going to need that cpu power to run your game and whatever other programs you have running on your computer including streamlabs so we don't want to take up those resources what we want to do is use the encoder chip on our graphics card which for an nvidia card it's going to be nvenc now if you have an amd card there is another one i forget what it's called i think it starts with a v or something um, but that's the one you want to select you want to make sure you're using your um encoder that is on your graphics card not your cpu it's going to give you a lot better performance and your game fps will not suffer once you set your encoder up for the rate control we're going to be using cqp for recording purposes we're going to set the cq level at 17 anything below a 14 i don't recommend um, anything above 17 i mean you can play around with it depending on your system build and how it's performing if you're getting lag and stutter in your recordings you might want to try turning this up the lower this number is the higher the quality and you can turn it anywhere from 0 to 30 but never go to 14 or below always keep it between 14 and 30 but keep in mind the closer to 30 you get the worse your quality is going to be but it's going to be easier for your computer to handle 17 has been the sweet spot for me but you can play around with this i recommend starting at 17 but slowly move it up one at a time if you do run into issues you can leave the keyframe interval on auto the preset i recommend max quality but if again you are having performance issues you're on a lower end pc you can try lowering this down one by one and see what your performance is like profile leave this on high look ahead leave off psycho visual tuning leave on gpu at zero max b frames leave it to these are all default values as far as the audio settings i'm just going to give you a basic audio setup to get you started so you should have desktop audio already on here this is just going to capture any desktop audio that's coming through your computer your headphones whatever it may be so if you have a game up it's going to capture that if you're talking to friends on discord it's going to capture that all within this one desktop audio track before your microphone we are going to want to set that up so as you can see it's not recording any of my audio on here right now so what you want to do is just click this little options wheel go to properties and under device right here, we just want to set this to whatever our microphone we want to use is. In my case, it's going to be this one right here. So now, as soon as I click that, um, 
you can see it's recording my audio and you can do tests and make sure it works before you were to do a recording so that you don't end up recording a whole video and then you don't have any mic audio because that sucks. I've done that many times, but that's it. Now you're ready to record. So make sure you subscribe, like, follow, all that stuff and see you guys next time.